Hi everyone, here's a quick recap of episode 16 to 20 of the I Am Podcast. It's not, I am opposed to VC fund, but um, when VC comes in, they come with a lot of experience in one domain, but, and there is only one VC, but when you go to the crowd, so it's like, it is validation of the idea that, okay, um, they are putting uh, money as a skin in the game and they are trying to help us out. You know, there are people from all around the world and now they are, okay, Akash, would you be willing to um, expand to, uh, you know, South Africa? I said, why not? Like, I mean, they are opening up the possibility. It's not just about the money, but it's about the people who come together to with your vision and uh, see the vision and uh, fulfill that um, uh, every day in day out. I'll, I'll t- tell a little story that, that a rabbi told um, you know two weeks ago about horses. He said that, uh, you know, and, and I think it illustrates about how you can motivate the team. He said that you know there's a story that in Europe one time there was a prince who had the most amazing horses in, in the world at that time. He had an Arabian horse, an Egyptian horse, a a, a, a British horse, and then this poor peasant schlepper comes comes by with his uh, a small carriage with two horses. And he sees the prince that's stuck in the mud, and he says to the prince, "Oh, let me let me help you. Uh, I can take your carriage out of the out of the mud." And the prince says, "I have four of the best horses in the entire world. You know, how can you and your two horses? How can you?" Uh, it was starting to rain, and then he gets stuck in the mud, and he can't get out of the mud. They said, "Look, you have amazing horses, fantastic horses, but one is from England, and one is from Saudi Arabia, and you know." In and of themselves, they're amazing. But when one gets whipped, he, he, he goes, and the other ones just kind of watch. But I have two horses that are brothers. And when I whip one horse, the other horse feels the pain also, and they move together. So I think that really the key is that when you have a team that's on the same page, that, that wants to succeed, that feels for the other, that, uh, that's the way forward. That's the way you can go. When you do your clinical trials, when you do your working models, don't get too attached to the design of the printed circuit board. Don't get too emotional about the mechanical components that make this tick. Because you will probably have to throw all this away when you go and connect all the ergonomic, easy to use feedback from the fields that you are lacking before you do the clinical trial, before you access the patient and the nurses and the uh, people who install it and the people who use it and people who package it. Mm -hmm. There are so many things you don't know that early and you don't need to commit. And um, also, you know, when you hire somebody, you should, especially in a startup, but I believe that it's, uh, you know, it applies to almost any organization that um, you should look for the hunger uh, of somebody that, you know, wants to succeed somebody that, uh, because if somebody wants to succeed, they will uh, probably, you know, bring a success uh, for their team members, for their uh, groups, for the whole organization. So it's something that is very important to look for when uh, when you're hiring. And also, I would say that it's very important to hire the first core team, the five, five, six, ten uh, first employees, and really, really, you know, be selective there. Uh, bring great people, you know, a no asshole uh, policy. Uh, when we are working on uh, on a problem, so usually you have two kinds of uh, of approaches. You have the people that jump right into the code and just uh, start coding, and you have the other uh, part that would sit, think, plan, and then execute. So I think that this approach should be given to the whole industry, not just to the software industry. When you have a problem, you need to sit, think about it, and only when you are satisfied with uh, what you came up with, 
you need to start the implementation because you will probably throw many of your ideas during this process and you will get new ideas and then another idea and just in the end when you are positive that this is what you need start the implementation thank you very much for watching if you're not yet subscribed you're missing out hit that subscribe button so you can get updated in startups entrepreneurship and innovation also give us a thumbs up for this one until next time make sure to check out www.imops.io if you want to know more about us subscribe to our podcast so you can get notified every time we post a new video thank you and you have a great day